it's been such a long time since I've been making a YouTube video, but you guys already know what video I'm going to be making by the title. Yes, that's right. I am going to be unboxing my basketball shoes, some Nike KD9s. And I just, I haven't uploaded any videos because I just, I've had my mind on a whole bunch of stuff like basketball and school because school just recently started and I just had to put my mind to it and I couldn't have any distractions because without school, I can't play basketball. And without basketball, what is life? But now I'm back. I'm not going to be uploading as recently as I used to. I used to upload every single day. But I, you guys know that I didn't really have anything to do in my videos. Like It was just a plain vlog and it was just super boring. And I know you guys didn't like that because the views were not going up. They were actually going down. So... I really just, I'm just going to be recording every time I, I'm going to do something fun or I'm having fun. I'm just going to record and I'm just going to do different types of things like shoe unboxings, pranks, sometimes vlogs. It depends what I'm doing that day. If I'm doing something fun, definitely going to vlog for you guys because I want to entertain you guys and I want you guys to enjoy my videos and subscribe. I may look a little different because the last time I uploaded was like two three four months ago it was such a long time ago i can't even remember what am i saying i can't even remember the last video that i uploaded and i don't know i just can't remember it but my mom the other day she was like because i used to use her computer to edit my videos for you guys and she just came up to me and she was like are oh, you haven't been using my computer a lot and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not really doing YouTube as much anymore because I'm just putting my mind in basketball. And she was like, all right. And now I see all these YouTubers having fun, like I said, I think. Did I say that? Well, if I did, all these YouTubers are having fun, and I just wanted to have fun. You know, because YouTube, when I was doing it, it was super fun. But it's just super hard to find time to do it because you got to edit the video. You got to make the video. And that takes a lot of a lot of, of what? It takes a lot of your time up, is what I was trying to say, but I lost my train of thought. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so this is the Nike KD9 box. It had, you can see from the light, it has a little design. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet, and it's kind of a reflector KD sign, and it has the KD symbol right here, also a reflector. They retail for 150 I wear an eight and a half. And you got Katie's signature right here. And on the other side, there's just a Nike sign. So now let's get into the shoe. When you open it up, just like every shoe box, you have that stupid paper that nobody likes. Now this paper, it actually has a design on it. The same design that's on the box. So, I mean, and it's all right. It's still pretty stupid though, because I don't like it. Now I have worn these shoes and played in them a lot, like not outside, but played basketball on the court. So they are a little dirty. They would be a lot cleaner, but like they've gotten stepped on since I've been playing basketball in them. And so they're not gonna look as clean as when you buy them, but they're still pretty fresh. So here is the shoe itself. This is just the right foot, the right shoe. And it does have this honeycomb pattern down here. And right when you get them, you're probably not gonna like them because they're a little stiff. You gotta break them in. Because it's, it's a little tight right here. But then once you break them in, they're perfect. And please keep in mind, these are a little dirty because I've been playing in them on the court. And people have been stepping on them because, you know, they can't guard me. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. So, it's, it's a really nice design. I just, I don't really like the tongue, how it goes up so high. But it's it's pretty nice all around. I like how it has the color in there in the air bubble. It, it's pretty nice to me. Here's the other side. Like I said, that honeycomb bottom. You got the KD signature on the front. If you can see that, I'm not sure. But when you put your foot in there, it's a little tight. And the shoelaces really don't do anything for me because I don't really have to tie them. I just tie them so they're not in the way because right here it's tight enough to where I don't even need shoelaces, which is what I really like because I don't like tying my shoes super tight on my feet because that just makes it more uncomfortable. But if you have a wide foot or fat foot, then I do not recommend these for you because they are really slim, like right here all the way through. They're slim because they're actually designed for KD, which has a really skinny and long foot. Now, a little bit into the design, I, I really like this KD 
thing on here. I don't know what it's called, but like it's really hard, and it's a it, it provides support for the back of your foot back here. It's really it's really tough and stiff, and I like that. And I really love the coloring in here. You might not be able to see it that well, but it's blue in there, and it matches this blue, and it looks really good. And I also really love the blue on the fly net i believe yeah pretty sure it's fine i really love how the blue is in the fly net and not just white because then it would just look lame like you know lame and that is pretty much all there is to the nike kd9 and they are a wonderful shoe they're super comfortable on the core i really love them until something happened so let me just tell you a story about what happened and why i don't really wear them as much anymore so I was at the, a teen center and there was a basketball tournament. I was playing and there was something on the bottom of my shoe. Like I could feel it, my shoe sliding across the ground, like not getting any grip. And so I, I looked on the bottom of my shoe and I found an earring. And of course, like everybody would do, I pull the earring right out of the bottom. And all I hear is, Psst. you guys might not know what just happened, but I know exactly what just happened. I popped the air bubble inside of my shoe right here. It goes all the way through the shoe. And it was on this shoe right here. I popped the entire air bubble from pulling that earring out. I didn't even know what would happen. Like if I knew what would happen, then I would've got some super glue, pulled it out and put it on there right away so it didn't happen. But I didn't, I didn't even think the earring was that long. I didn't even think that it would pop the air bubble. Like it didn't even cross my mind about the air bubble. I thought I'd just pull it out and it'd be fine. And I actually had to end up changing my shoes because one shoe was like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it really, but like one shoe was like more comfortable than the other. Like this one, all my pressure points on my foot, like where I put more pressure down, like my, um, my the ball of my foot, it was like pretty much touching the ground because the air bubble that runs through here is the only support and all the air was gone. So my my uh, ball, my foot was touching the ground, my toes were touching the ground, and it was just really uncomfortable because my other shoe, my other foot wasn't touching the ground at all because it still had air in it, and I just can't wear them anymore. I'm gonna try to fix them somehow, but I gotta find the hole. And to show you guys like the difference that it makes, I got the shoe that's popped right here. Aha, my knee. Oh, it's on my desk drawer. All right, so I got the shoe that's popped right here. And that's the light focus. Like, see how I can push it down super easily? And it goes down super easily without a fight. Now, the other shoe that's not popped, same spot, pushing it down. It doesn't move at all. It makes such a big difference. I didn't even think the air bubble made a difference. But now, I realize it does. I hope you guys liked today's video. It's about the end of the day. It's like... Five, I believe. I need to get a clock in my room. Because, like, every time I wake up in the middle of the night... Oh, I'm not going to tell you that story. I'll tell you that later. I'm just getting sidetracked. But I hope you guys liked this video. And if you want more videos like this, I guess... Once I get new shoes, they're going to be clean, you know, because I got that style. As you can tell, because I'm rocking this UK hoodie. But once I get more shoes... And I get things going through my mind of what to do in my video. I will make more videos. And I'm going to be uploading about once or twice or three times a week. But definitely not every day because I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. But I hope you guys liked this video and enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you already aren't. And I'll see you guys in another video.